everyone, it's Sally with The Polka Dot Life. Thanks for stopping by. Fun fold cards, I love them. I have one for you today that is super quick and easy to make. And they're great because it works with any stamp set or any paper. Let's head to the craft desk and get started. I have a really quick and easy fun fold card for you today. We're going to start with our piece of Whisper White Thick cardstock. And I want to go ahead, it has two score lines, and I want you to know that I will have all these measurements on my blog. There'll be a link down below. That way you don't even have to try to write all these down, because you'll just kind of want to watch to see how it goes together. So it has this score line that goes, you fold it in half like regular. And then this little short one is going to fold Back. I am going to bring in the back of my card in Poppy Parade and get my liquid adhesive. And I'm going to, this is going to go on to the front of our card. So I'm going to turn this over and put my adhesive on the back. And this, in particular, I really like using this liquid glue because I feel like you do need to have a little wiggle room. So we're going to take this, and this is kind of just like the size of how you would put a mat on your card front. And so you just center it up and give it a nice gentle press. So I want to actually do some stamping before I finish gluing. I am going to be using Knight of Navy. And this is going to just barely fit on this, but we're going to do our best. And I want to do that about in the center of this layer. Okay. Then I have another sentiment. That one says, Christmas blessings to you and yours. So it's kind of like a inside outside greeting just because I used an image on the front wipe the ink off my finger. And this one, family and friends are the truest gifts of Christmas. Super fun. And then we can get this ink out of the way. So we are just going to fold that closed again. And just on this small portion, we're going to put glue on this little tab. And that's another reason you wanna have a strong adhesive. I would not use the regular seal. If you like the tape runner, I would use the seal plus or tear and tape. Here's where I like the little wiggle factor. So this is just simply going to, we're going to lay this card right on top. And then I like to just take mine like this, tap it on my work surface, so that it's nice and straight across the bottom and put my hands together and make sure it's lined up side to side. And isn't this just the cutest fun fold card? I am going to just flip this on over for a minute. And I have just another little piece of designer series paper that I am going to put on the inside toward the bottom just to give it a little more color in here. And I have one of our little red cars that I had left over from our other video. And I am simply just going to adhere that down kind of like that's our little road. 
So isn't that fun? Just a cute, simple, but it's still, it's just the same as a regular card. And so it fits into our envelopes just perfectly. I actually have some of our, all the trimmings embellishments, and I would like to add a few of them to my card today. I just think when it's Christmas, we need to put a star on the tree. And it's just little bitty. And my fingers are super covered with ink. I've had the best couple days in my craft room. There. And then I just, even these white ones, just add a little dimension to a card. They're just kind of fun. Let's do one here. And then we will do one right here. I'm going to move this one out of the way. This is probably my least favorite of the ones that I did, but I just had some extra parts and pieces, so I went ahead and made it anyway. This is using our wonder of the season, and I just put a deer in that same greeting in here with a little embossed vellum and some layers on the top. I also did this one with our Christmas gleaming again in the pretty peacock, just because I could, and I had some scraps of it left too. And it is just super fun. I just drew, took our matching pretty peacock marker, used the fine tip end, drew some lines, and then just um, popped, or I didn't pop these up, but I punched those out and put those on that layer. And some of that pretty copper on the top too. On this last card, I wanted to show you, don't rule out Christmas paper if you are not interested in doing Christmas cards. This paper is from the Trimming the Town Suite, and it is just simply an old olive stripe. And so I wanted to show you that you don't have to use Christmas paper solely for Christmas. Generally, the flip side of it make for great everyday papers. This background is simply that old olive designer series paper from the Trimming the Town Suite. This is Bumblebee, and these other things are all from the Ornate Garden Suite, and I simply stamped that and colored it with our blends. And then this one, I went ahead and added two layers because I actually had a little smudge of something on that cardstock that needed covered up, and so I just added another layer and our greeting in this little sweet daisy. So here you have four different greeting cards, all using the same layout of this sweet little fun fold that goes together really fast. And it just is a little surprise for somebody when they open it. I want to remind you as well that the designer series paper sale ends on October 31st. So you just have a few days, hours left to get in on that sale. And it's, these papers are really, really versatile and great. As always, remember to be kind, send a card, and do something creative. Bye-bye.